This is the most dangerous problem in mathematics, one that young mathematicians are warned not to waste their time on. It's a simple conjecture that not even the world's best mathematicians have been able to solve. Paul Erdős, a famous mathematician, said, "Mathematics is not yet ripe enough for such questions." Here's how it works: pick a number, any number. Seven, good choice. Okay, we're gonna apply two rules. If the number is odd, we multiply by three and add one. So three times seven is twenty-one. Plus one is twenty-two. If the number is even, we divide by two. So twenty-two divided by two is eleven. Now we keep applying these two rules. Eleven is odd, so we multiply by three, thirty-three, and add one, thirty-four. Even, divide by two, seventeen. Odd, multiply by three, fifty-one, add one, fifty-two. Even, divide by two, twenty-six. Still even, divide by two, thirteen. Odd, so we multiply by three, thirty-nine, add one, and that's forty, which is even. So we divide by two, twenty. Divide by two, ten. Divide by two, five. Odd. Multiply by three, fifteen. Add one, sixteen. Divide by two. That's eight. And then four, two, and one. Now one is odd, so we multiply by three and add one, which equals four. But four goes to two, goes to one, so we're in a loop, and the lowest number is one. Now the conjecture is this: every positive integer, if you apply these rules, will eventually end up in the four, two, one loop. This is commonly called. One, two, four, four, two, four. My name is Lakhan. My name is Lakhan. Sajno ka sajn, mera naam hai Lakhan.